Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video here on the Brewster's channel. I'm your host, the Brewster, and today I'm going to be making the third installment of the Safest Backrooms Levels series. Parts 1 and 2 will be down below in the description if you're interested in checking those out, but if you don't want to, you're a loser. And this is the series where I go over the backrooms levels that are safe to be on or safe to go to or safe to live on. You know, it's pretty much self-explanatory. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first level that I'm going to be talking about today is level 178, aka the Kyoto Dreams. This level has a survival difficulty of zero and has no entities, so it's pretty much as safe as you can be in the back rooms. The level looks like a traditional Machia house, I might be mispronouncing that, not sure, apologies if I am, which is a type of house that's found in Japanese culture. The inside of the house has looping hallways that make it seem bigger than it actually is, although the level is pretty big, it's not infinite. But like I said earlier, the level does have zero entities, but it also has water and food and even clothes in some areas as well. So since the level is so safe, it's kind of used as a base or outpost for lots of other people who just want to chill or get something to eat or rest without having to worry about a wretch running right after them. The level isn't just inside of the house though, since there's multiple sections actually outside, like a courtyard area with a hot spring in the middle, or a big wraparound porch, and there's kitchens and bathrooms and showers, there's tons of different areas, pretty much just like a resort. When you spawn in on the level, you'll be in the middle of the house, which is the main area. You'll immediately smell the fresh scent of bamboo and wood and hear trickling water, it's pretty relaxing. Walking out of this main area through wooden sliding doors will reveal kitchen areas. These kitchens have fridges and tap water and ovens, you know, all the good kitchen stuff. Here's where the almond water and the food can be found, as well as some prepared meals in the refrigerator. These meals have been tested and are actually safe to eat, but no one knows who prepares them. Nice. The bedrooms and bathrooms can also be found by leaving the main room and going down the hallways. And all of the places and facilities here are safe to use. There are a couple outposts here, one of them is called the Order of the Sun Goddess, and it's a section of the Lost group that live on this area. There's around 12 people who live in it, and they're moderately passive. And the other group is called the Sector of Amaterasu. This group has bases spread out all over the level, but its central base is located in the studio room near the kitchens. Both of the groups I just mentioned are moderately friendly, and they just live here because it's chill. You can enter this level by falling asleep in level 7, which will cause you to be sent here, and you can exit using one of four methods. The first one is staying in the courtyard's hot spring and falling asleep in the water. If you do that, you'll wake up on level 66. You can also noclip into a darker colored wall to be sent to the level that you came from. The third method is walking around the level for a few weeks until you find a door that's labeled exit and all you gotta do is walk through it to exit, pretty simple. The last method is to walk inside of one of the pantries inside of the kitchen area and you'll be sent to the anti-reality bowling alley. No clue what that is, but uh, you'll go there if you go in the pantry. Pretty chill Japanese style house with a hot spring and bedrooms, I mean that just screams safety, right? The second safe level for this video is level 39, aka the Enchanted Forest. That's a very Disney princessy name, so I hope it's good. This level is a class zero difficulty, obviously, that's literally what the entire video is about. And it was discovered in 1988 by an anonymous wanderer. Cool. The level is made up of curvy dirt roads that go through a thick forest, specifically an oak forest. The level actually isn't that big and is only around 190 miles or 300 kilometers in size. It's also in the shape of a circle and not a square. The level has no day or night cycle and it's just stuck at a constant dusk time. The pathways on the level are around 6.6 .6 feet wide or around 2 meters and can be really confusing if you're not paying attention because they randomly curve and curl back and you can lose your place if you're not keeping your eyes open. Like I said, the trees inside the forest are oak trees and they can't be destroyed, broken, removed, moved at all because their roots are physically fused with the ground of this level somehow. 
They don't just have roots in the ground, they're like intertwined with the core of the level. Nice. The landscape is also pretty hilly, and there's random ponds scattered around. People who have been here say that the level gives a random feeling of calmness and serenity, and some even say that the level gives them intense nostalgia, even though they've never seen the level or been to a place like this in real life. The only dangerous thing about this level is that it's so comforting and calm that wanderers can get entranced by it and forget to sleep or drink or eat so they might unalive themselves from dehydration or starvation. But all you have to do to avoid that is to drink some almond water and the effects will immediately reverse. On the outskirts of the level there are these areas called the borders and they're pretty much really dangerous areas to go in. They have heavy winds and thunderstorms, and sometimes there's even tornadoes, and the temperatures are also way colder in those areas than in the main area. The sky is also darker and cloudier. So pretty much what I'm saying is, don't go to the border of this level. It's lame. The real homies just sit and chill in the woods. There are no bases or outposts here, but it is possible to make one as long as you take into consideration the fact that you're going to have to drink almond water so you don't get entranced. You can enter this level by going into the woods of level 37 and finding the transition into the trees of this level, level 39, and then you keep walking and you'll eventually get here. There are also three other ways to enter, but you have to be past the level to enter it, so here they are. To exit, you can just noclip through a hill to be sent to level 63, or you can noclip through a weird looking oak tree. And if those two don't work, you can use one of the other seven ways it lists to exit. There's nine exits, so, I mean, it's pretty easy to leave. So yeah, this one's just a nice, calm forest. I mean, literally, that's the definition, the epitome, if you will, of a safe backrooms level. And yeah, that's it for the safest backrooms levels part three. Parts one and two will be down below. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching the video, and thank you for staying till the end. Comment woogly if you're still listening to it. If you do that and I see it, you're a real one, and you're getting a heart, definitely. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for supporting me, and thank you to everyone watching as well. Go sub to Toogly for the plaque unboxing soon, as well as gaming videos and other kinds of stuff real soon. And make sure you check out all the links down below if you want to get a hold of me or follow me or whatever you want to do. Thank you for everything. Stay tuned for tomorrow for the brand new Entity Short video. They're blowing up. Literally all of them are getting so many views. Thank you for all the support on them. I love doing them. I also might be putting some fan-made entities on there, so keep an eye out. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you later.